First thing you're going to want to do is download all three of these programs. Links will be in the description. After you do that, you're going to want to set up RTSS and process lasso. After you do that, you're going to want to go to Reva, click add, and then find magpie.exe inside the magpie folder and click on it and add it. And then you're going to want to cap the frame rate to whatever you want your game frame rate to be. After you do that, this is only for AMD users. If you're in NVIDIA, you can just skip this part. Click on AMD Radium Software, go to Gaming, go to All Games, go to Games, go to Add a Game, find the Magpie folder, add magpie.exe, enable image, radi image sharpening, and then select a custom value. I wouldn't personally go over 80%, uh, but 60% works well for me. It's entirely subjective, however much sharpening you want. Uh, it already adds image sharpening, uh, FSR does, this just adds a little bit extra and it makes it look a lot nicer. After you do that, you're going to want to launch Process Lasso. You want to go to the search and type in Magpie. After you type in Magpie, right click, click Exclude from Pro Balance and Disk Performance. Then go to CPU Priority, click on Always, and then click Above Normal. After you've done that, you're done setting up everything that is required, and then you can launch a game to test this with. Uh, as you can see, I've Reshade installed. You don't have to install Reshade. Uh, personally, if you want to add more sharpening or you want to add better anti-aliasing since you're, you know, you'd be running at a lower resolution, you can do that. Reshade's good at that. It can improve the quality further. Uh, so I recommend it, but it's entirely optional which is why I'm not going to be showing how to do it in this video. <clears throat> Another thing you can do, and this is also optional, is after you have your game launched, you can go into Process Lasso, find the game process, and click Exclude from Pro Balance and include Performance Mode. Since this is about performance, that will also uh, help performance out as well. But that's optional. Now, if you're wondering why, uh, Reva and Process Lasso is required for Magpie to work. It's it doesn't actually it's not required for it to work. The problem is is that Magpie is not a perfect program. It actually has a lot of stuttering and hiccups, and these programs uh, help to prevent that by capping the frame rate and making sure Magpie has the right priority. Otherwise, it'll be a stuttery experience. And you know what's the point of having FSR if the quality is not going to be good? So right now, I'm just going to show you that it works. So this is native 1440p. All right. Now what I'm going to do is go down to 1080p. Click apply. Now due to YouTube decompression, you may not be able to tell, but it does look a lot noticeably worse for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Magpie and I'm going to launch it. Uh, also, Another thing is when I told you guys to do that thing in Process Lasso with Magpie, you need to have Magpie launch first in order for the process to show up. So sorry for not saying that earlier. So click on this, click on FSR, make sure this is WinRT Capture. Click on this and then select this option right here. It should be the second one. And then you're going to want you to put your game to non-full screen. And then click on this button and you see it'll count down and you want to click on the process so the game that you want FSR to be applied to. Make sure to go back to full screen and now FSR is applied. The game looks so much better. It looks basically just like native to me. FSR is a lot better than I expected it to be. Uh, now some of you may be wondering, wondering, and this is just an extra part of the video, I've already shown you how to do it. Uh, is this just as good as native F FSR on a game that natively supports it? Well, the biggest and only difference really is that the HUD and like the effects like film grain are going to be applied at the lower resolution too, whereas with native F FSR, the HUD and stuff is running at native resolution. Uh, so it isn't applied. It's not running lower. So that's the biggest difference. And honestly, it doesn't make that much of a difference. So uh, no, it's not that much better. This is a good solution but if you're wondering why my FPS didn't increase this game is very CPU intensive and my GPU is very powerful so that's why FSR does not help me out this much in uh, this game and besides that I will offer one disclaimer and that is the fact that every game handles being in windowed mode differently which means that Magpie may not work with it 
I was trying it with Warzone, and it just introduced a lot of latency, and it was like bugged out. I can't really explain it, but for some reason, it did not work for that game. I mean, it worked. FSR was clearly applied, and the game looked good, but it wasn't playable. So thanks for watching the video. I hope I explained everything clearly. I will leave timestamps, and I will answer every question you have. Peace out.